We've got the Jumbo job done over there. We managed to bring the Premiership Cup back home, so. To try to be a part of that is just pretty exciting and um, pretty good honour. So it's great to be, be a captain and um, I suppose you've been at the front of that. But it's, it is a whole group thing. You need everyone pulling their weight, um, whether it's a big bit or a little bit. So, you know, I was proud, but um, it's a whole, it is a whole team group effort. A typically selfless response from one of football's genuine nice guys. The ultimate no-nonsense quiet achiever who's risen from promising Angerston junior footballer to AFL superstardom. Just to see that smile on his face yeah. brought tears smile to my eyes. Holding up that cup, so proud to be there to share it with him. When we were bringing him up, we taught him to just do the best they can and be respectful of and inclusive of all the other people and try and be a leader, not a follower. Yes, he's on the telly a bit more, but it could end tomorrow. So we're just happy to see him um, just do his best. Now in his fifth season as captain, Hearn will soon overtake Ben Cousins as the Eagles' third longest serving skipper behind John Worsfold and Darren Glass. But if you thought the 31-year-old with a premiership under his belt and retirement approaching was satisfied, you'd be very wrong. Hearn won't be happy unless this year is better than the last. He's told me several times about the, the Lane Beachley principle. Lane Beachley was just a superstar at what she did seven in a row and you just you know, every game, you just try and get better and better and better. One of the things she spoke about, when, like when she retired, was she just felt that um, every time she won a title, she just, not, not that she dismissed it, but it was just going on to the next one and the next one and the next one. Sports people tend to, be, because you always want to get better, you're always looking for that next thing, so you appreciate what you've done, whether that's an you know, individual award or a team award, but you, you tend to move on pretty quickly. Elite sport runs in the Hearn family. Father William played 135 SANFL games with Central District and Grandfather Brian was a member of South Australia's Sheffield Shield winning team of 1964. But after choosing football over a promising cricket career, Shannon says it was his time with the all-conquering Bulldogs of the early 2000s that shaped him as a player in person. Well, James and Chris Gowans were excellent. Um, you know, uh, Roy Laird being the coach was pretty good. Um, obviously, Chris Grant has been in the club for ages. But just, you know, how to train, um, how to play, and just the standards of, you know, what football was about and how to go about it and how to win. While Hearn concedes retirement is on the horizon, he hasn't thought about it much. But when he is all said and done at the top level, he'd love to return to where it all began. I've always thought um, it'd be great to go back and be able to play um, at least a couple of games for Angerston. So I have to wait and see what happens. One suspects Angerston will be interested in that scenario as well.